oh my God, perfect. My ring is gonna be the clitoris. I'm like the pubic bone. I'm like where the uterus sits. Good morning, everybody. I just worked a night shift and I'm just waking up right now and shooting a video for you guys. I am Dr. Olivia Richmond, AKA Glamour Post MD. We talk about sex education, masturbation, anything that you guys are feeling uncomfortable about around sex or your bodies, that's what I want to discuss because it's an uncomfortable topic. And sometimes it's really, really, really challenging to talk about. So let's go sit down in my little nook and start discussing sex. My fiance and I, we have a podcast YouTube channel together called Relationship Happens. You can go check that out in one of these corners. I wanted to talk about masturbation and let me move you guys closer because we're having an intimate conversation. And how can you please yourself if you're a virgin? What does that mean? I know there's a lot of like different cultural and religious um, definitions of maybe what you feel like you're supposed to do or what you're not supposed to do. There's nothing dirty or guilty about female masturbation, about male masturbation either, but I feel like the stigma is more towards women. So something that you can do is you can masturbate with your clitoris. So your clitoris is, it's above where you pee, right? So just like quick little reminder of what's going on. All the way down to the bottom is where you poop, right? That's your butthole, okay? I know this is not like right here, okay? Let's just say this is all the way down to the bottom. Then you come up a little bit and that's the vaginal orifice, which is like the vaginal opening. And that's where the vagina is. Then you go up just a little bit. You're not gonna see this hole. You're not gonna hopefully, I, I mean, you don't usually put a finger in that hole. Don't put anything in that hole. That's where you pee out of. I know that's like sometimes a, a like a sexual kink, but it can, it can turn dangerous quick. Um, and then right above the urethra, so just recap, right? We have the anus, we have the vagina, you have the urethra right above it, which you're not gonna be able to see or put your finger into. So if you're, if you're putting your finger in somewhere, it's probably your vagina. And then above that is, above your urethra is going to be your clitoris. And the clitoris, it's gonna feel and look different for everybody, okay? No one clitoris is the same. And just like no two faces are the same, I don't know, maybe if you have a twin, you and your twin have matching clitor, clitor eye. I don't know, maybe you guys do. I remember when I was little, I was like, oh my God, like is my, is my anatomy and my vagina, is it normal? I was so nervous about that, but uh, it ends up that it was, it's just, you know, labias also, which is like the lips of the vagina. Again, all look different, all different shapes, sizes. Um, so don't get too overwhelmed by if you're normal or not. And if you do have a question, then please ask your doctor about it. Doctors are not always well versed in female anatomy, but if they aren't, then hopefully they'll look it up. Anyway, back to masturbation with the clitoris. So your clitoris is like, it's kind of almost gonna be like, it feels like a little ball. Maybe this is good for hetero guys also to watch this video because um, now you'll know maybe where the clitoris is. Cause it can get complicated. And maybe I'll, you know what? I'll make a video on this next time for, for, for guys, guys who wanna know their way around the vagina. I'm sorry, the vulva. I'm going in 16 different tangents, but every time I say something, I'm like, oh, it's really important to talk about. Like when you talk about the vagina, vagina is actually like the orifice. Remember when we were going back here? It's just this, like this entire area, your external, female genitalia that it that can all be called like your vulva where your lips are and where the vaginal orifice is and the clitoris you do want to be anatomically correct that's what we're talking about when we talk about vulva versus vagina and we're back to the most important topic the clitoris let's use my ring as an example so the clitoris is kind of just going to be like i don't know like this there we go, oh my God, perfect. My face is the vulva, okay? Or up here, I guess, would be the vulva. I'm like the pubic bone. I'm like where the uterus sits. And then my ring is gonna be the clitoris. And it's super, super sensitive, right? There might be some skin overlying it, there might not be. And like, if you just like touch right on top, you're going to feel it. So sometimes touching right on top of it actually doesn't feel good. And again, we will save that for another video. Go to another video of mine, Three Ways to Masturbate. 
as a female, those three definitely target your clitoris and nothing's going inside your vagina. You'd still enjoy masturbation. There's nothing wrong with it. It's completely healthy and normal for you. I wanna stress that the most. It is totally normal for you to do. Also check out my book, which is in the link below. It is for life hacks in order to be happier and more purposeful. You don't have to be a medical student to read it. And that's it guys, cheers. Hope everyone has a fabulous day.